Okay, today we're going to test the, the late model Ford um, Denso hairpin alternator. It's a 220 amp unit with an RVC regulator. And we're going to um, set it up on our new CV307A alternator starter tester. So what we're going to do first is uh, I'm going to take my calipers and measure the mic and mic the outside diameter of the pulley. And I measure that and it's reading 57 millimeters. So uh, remember that we want to um, set that up as uh, 57 millimeters. I connect the, uh, the drive belt to the motor, turn the air compressor on and it tightens the belt down. I connect the ground cable to my alternator, like it would be on the vehicle, and the battery positive. Close my lid, and the next step we want to do is uh, pick the harness and set up the program of what um, we want to test this um, alternator under. Okay, now we're to the program board here and everything. You see all the different connections and that. So what we want to do is uh, pick, since we know this is a, a Ford RVC, it has sense, LI, and battery um, or signal. So we'll hook up the LI, we'll hook up the B+, and we'll help hook up the signal terminal. And on then I'll take the harness and I will plug it in to the alternator. Um, and once we do that, we will want to come back here and set up the mode. And look in here of our um, CV307, you see that um, it flashes the different uh, connections that you want to run. This is a DFM, that's not the one we want. This is for battery uh, lamp, if you have an alternator with a lamp. And this one here is your Ford RVC PC, uh, PWM and the Land Rover. So that's the program that we want to run because we know this is an RVC regulator. Then we'll come up here and um, we'll open up our uh, uh, Moto Pratt uh, program. And that is opened up. So here we are, we're ready to uh, set up our test. Over here in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see a diameter of the pulley. Um, it's already set up for 57 millimeters. Remember, we just mic'd our pulley and it was 57, so we're set there. And what easy process we want to go here to on the program, it says wizard. And we click on it, a, a window will open up and ask if all of our wires are connected. Yes, it is. So we go to the next and it asks you for the diameter of the pulley and it is 57 millimeters so that is set up also and now it's already wanting to start and run our test so we have the tester on automatic mode that is going to be reading um, the program already set up uh, for the tester to run its um, power curve and to test uh, the regulator's functions and put it into the program So just check the turn on speed and now we're uh, testing the output of the alternator, the power curve and the regulator uh, to set it up in the, in the test. Okay, it takes about 50 to 55 seconds to, uh, to run the program test, and as you see here, the test is completed, and we want to move on to um, over here. It asks uh, to go next, and this is where we will enter the OE part number, uh, what the manufacturer is, and if there's any reference numbers, um, and um, put our, uh, if we have our own numbers that we want to reference uh, to research back on, um, that's where you put everything, and then the amperage, of course, of the output of the alternator and then here's the shows you the power curve of the of the dyno test of uh, uh, of the alternator and uh, next we'll, what we will do is put an aftermarket our aftermarket registrar regulator in this unit and then we'll run this test um, the same and see if we get the same pass 